Good morning everyone and welcome back to Craft Eccentricity and I'm first of all going to start off with an apology for something that's not my fault and that is the humidity. It is extremely hot and wet here and trying to make my projects the paper is just oh it's like paper mache honestly it's awful so I did two and then because of the rain and whatnot the lighting wasn't good enough to really take any decent pictures so as I say I just stuck with two projects I'm going to install the um, dehumidifier into my craft room and just shut the door and let it run all day and uh, hopefully this evening I'll be able to complete what surprise creation sent me and of course that means I'm only going to be able to do the KS craft haul on Friday and then I'll have to come back up on Monday with those projects but you know it's a little taste of Florida really and uh, it's not all sunshine <laughs> Not if you're a crafter. So anyway, what I was able to use was this new set. I haven't poked it out yet. And these are the pierced rectangles. And I also used one of the smaller of the pierced circles. Now, first up, I've used the little mini one stamen flowers, which is what you need these for which are the tiny mini stamens I did link these on the haul video yesterday so what I'll do is I'll link that video below again and this is what they look like as little individuals can you see that Ooh, let's get some clarity here I'm going microscopic there you go they are tiny 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 and all I did there was just tie it with a little bit of twine to make that little tiny bunch. And then using the pierced circle, um, I've got some of my floss out and I stitched around it because, as I said, those holes are actually big enough to sew into. I used my aperture die, which can be found at the link designed by craft eccentricity and these little bubbles are what comes out of the middle of your Dollar Tree foam pads it's part of the packaging which is why those dies are called packaging apertures and they do fit Dollar Tree packaging and also the tape which is the much larger circle but I popped a little bit of moss in there from Dollar Tree and then put those little flowers in and just used a bit of script I popped that onto watercolour cardstock and then just, you know, finished it off so that I could dangle it somewhere. So that is the first project. And then the next project, I managed to use the canes. I didn't really want to use anything too big. And all of the dies that I've got for Nicole, they're quite large. And honestly, I don't want to show them warped, which is what the humidity does to my paper and I'll give you an example of that now this was all crisp and nice when I did it and I've used my little plant pot die here and I filled it with canes just to make it look like a bouquet of candy canes I've used a 3d embossing folder behind and there is that pierced rectangle I mean if you've got baker's twine you could go in and out of that and then lay it on top of another piece of cardstock but here you go look at that that's humidity and it's not really the quality of anything that I want to represent either in a photograph or in my videos which is why I just did two and then I had to stop now obviously if you don't suffer from humidity like I am here then your cardstock is going to be nice and crisp and flat and straight but like I say I just don't want to represent anything looking all wavy even if it's not my fault if you know what I mean so I stayed with two I'm going to run my uh, dehumidifier and uh, I'm going to be up tomorrow with the rest of everything from that haul but as I say I apologize because KS Crafter sent me quite a large bag of goodies so I will share those on Friday and then work through the weekend probably in my craft room with the door shut with the dehumidifier going which will be a nightmare in of itself because dehumidifiers produce heat and it's already let me have a look here it's 
already 85 degrees outside so that just goes to show you we must suffer for our craft yes indeed right well i thank you so much for watching i hope you have an absolutely awesome day and as usual all links below bye